Good morning. I wonder, I can only imagine what real YouTubers must go through when they do a video. I stop and start so many times. I got the fan running. It is hot in here. I feel like I'm melting. I got cleaned up. My hair is all wet. I have started so many videos. And it's getting to the point where <laughs> I feel so... I have moments when I just go downhill and it's like the overwhelming, daunting tasks of catering to people and like this morning um, right away my uncle wants me to look up a, uh, a place that a bike shop that could possibly put tires on his one wheelchair. It needs. A, it actually needs a new tire. I thought he had the tire, but he doesn't. We'd have to actually find it. Um, I mean, I would go to a medical supply place. I mean, there are places that repair wheelchairs, no doubt. You know, there is. He just happens to like this one instead of the new one that he got. He says it's lower. He can fit under the table better. And I hope I'm talking loud enough. I know I tend to, I start out loud and then I kind of like go down. And then I know I probably mumble a little. <sighs> so I call the bike shop and, but I didn't have the right information. So then he, Whenever he gives me a note, I take a picture of it. I do not keep it, because if I ever lost it, it would be a little more whatever. <coughs> Good thing I know how to edit some stuff out. Coffee in the tech. I got mad I went and got my Big B's coffee. So... You know, he asked me to do something, and I do it. And then, um, he sold his motorcycle that was in, you know, he had it in the house. Well, anyway, we have a front porch. It's really nice. I can remember when I was little, we used to have one of those gliders there that would glide back and forth. And I remember sitting there with my grandma gliding back and forth and watching the traffic or watching the people go by. I've been coughing a lot. I hope I'm not getting that bronchial thing back. My hair takes a long time to brush because I don't use cream rinse and it gets tangled. And, uh, anyway. When you have an older person, I mean, this is not my home. And they keep everything. I mean, just stuff. Stuff that's not worth anything. Old carpeting pieces or just old rolled up carpeting. TV monitors that nobody will use and they think they can play games on them. Well, nobody plays games on those things anymore. I just, you know, to me they should be recycled. I don't know where you take them. See, I'm mumbling. Sorry, I am mumbling. I'm having a rough day today, but I wanted to do this because I have tried this so many times. And then it's like, for me to try to go back and even talk about the stuff that I talked about in the videos that I didn't get done. Um, I hope this isn't really, probably as annoying, isn't it? Um, It's just not worth it. It's not worth it to backtrack and go over information that I've talked about. There is something I want to talk about in another video, though. I want to talk about cats and kittens. <clears throat> but that, I'll say for another video, <clears throat> depending on what happens with this one litter. But anyway, 
Um, like I've said before, I can't do a lot because of my back and, and different things. I, I do the best I can, and I can do a little at a time. And I do a little rest, do a little rest. And I mean, like, I can't clean like I used to back in the day. I used to wash the floors on my hands and knees, and I mean, I would just go hog wild. I can't do that anymore. Wish I could. Well, anyway, I want to clean this porch out. And I'm just talking about moving stuff and vacuuming and wiping things down and putting it back where it is because there's a lot of stuff in the living room that I could put out there um, that could withstand the heat. Say, for instance, toilet paper, paper towel, Kleenex, you know, stuff like that that I stock up on. I hate, sh I hate shopping. I hate shopping. Um, I mean, I don't like... Um, I just don't like shopping. I don't like food shopping. I don't like clothes shopping. I don't like gift shopping. <laughs> I just don't like it. I think it's it, it's depressing actually to me because um, I don't know. It's just to me stuff. I would rather help somebody in need that has a need instead of buying them stuff. Um, but anyway, so my sister is going to help me do some cleaning, but he's pitching a fit. And I'm getting to the point, like, um, he wanted me to, there's a pile, uh, my son did the bushes, and he wanted me to clean it up. And I said, I'll try. I can't guarantee it, but I'll try. But I have to get down on my hands and knees, and I filled up a box. And um, these, this, these bushes have all different kinds of uh, weeds, and I'd just rip them out if I had my way there and put brand new ones in they're so bad but um <clears throat> I hope this turned out I'm talking for a long time and I'm going to listen to this back and I'm going to sit there and and I'm going to hear it and I'm going to say dang it can't use this one either um I know I'm just ranting rambling I uh you know, he, he ran out of pain pills. That's a whole other issue, too, with this, this pharmaceutical problem that they're not giving pain pills to people, in my opinion, that actually need it because of those who abuse the system. And, you know, it just really hurts a lot of people. And it, from what I understand, the suicide rate has increased from it. And uh, I know that... Um, I was on pain pills for a long time and I never thought that I was addicted to them. I mean, I didn't buy them. I didn't take them to get high. There's people say I don't get that. But I guess I was because when I did go off of them, I did go through withdrawals that I didn't understand. And uh, from what my daughter said, um, <laughs> I was a real bear. I get these blisters. I, you can't, I don't know if you can see it my hands itch and I think it's nerves and then I get a blister and then they pop and then, oh. anyway I don't know what to do for that I haven't been taking my CBD oil I keep looking that way because that's where my uncle comes and peeks in the door rolls up to talk to me and so we kind of got into it a little bit this morning and I um, I'm getting to the point where like he'll kind of make demands. It's like, I want you to do this, go get empty that box, bring it back in. No, I'm not bringing a dirty box back into the house because as I had a bunch of dirt in it and stuff. And then um, he goes, well, he gets real mad. And he goes, well, I'll just go do it myself, blah, blah, blah. It's like, fine, do it. And then it's like, he doesn't want me to do stuff in the porch. It's like, stop me, you know? <laughs> And that sounds mean, but I'm I'm at a point where it's like, you know, I gotta do what I gotta do, and if 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 it means cleaning and organizing, and you don't like it, oh well, you know, I'm getting tired of, you know, giving in to every little beck and call and whatever, you know, 
and uh, because I buy in not a huge bulk, but like he gets mad because I buy a lot of paper towel because you know, I use gloves and paper towel here. And uh, you know, I, I stock up on stuff. I don't, I just, you know, even when he gives me a shopping list, I'll buy, like if he asks for two, I'll buy three. Because I, I don't want to go shopping in a couple days again. Old people want you to go shopping every other day. Or at least twice a week. Even once a week. I used to remember when I had my house, I'd shop for the month. You know? The only thing you would uh, have to go out for was maybe milk and bread. And if you needed an item. But because I had a freezer, I would just stock up. Anyway, I know this is already long, and I'm just frustrated, and I'm, my uh, one cat has an appointment at 12 for her eyes. There's something on her eyes. It doesn't seem to be bothering her, but it's bothering me, because I worry about her going blind, and I'm just worried about her, and it's on both eyes. There's, there's like, I don't even know what you would call it, um, but there's something there. So I'm having her checked out today, and she has to be drugged before you can take her to a doctor's with a sedative, because I remember one time we took her out, and she literally ripped her nail out trying to get out, you know, clawing at the cage and stuff, and that was a mess. Poor baby. I don't want to say she ripped her nail out, but she, I guess she, I don't know, broke it real bad where it was, it was just, it was a mess. So, um... We have to sedate her a little bit in order to get her to the vet's office and whatnot. So we're doing that today, and then we got to go take care of some stuff with my aunt. <laughs> I feel like I can't remember anything, and I know I should be writing down stuff, and I do, but I can't even remember. I'm like, what am I writing? What am I doing? I don't even know what to write. I don't, I don't remember. I can't think straight lately, and it's just like, I asked my daughter, I feel like I'm totally forgetting to do stuff, and um, I don't know. I just, it's, it's, it takes a toll on you. That's all I gotta say, and I hope you guys can hear this, because that fan is loud, and I really, don't want to try to redo this again. I have tried so many times, but um, I'll keep trying. And thank you for putting up with me. You have a good day, and I will talk to you later. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Comment. Bye-bye. <laughs>